With the 2021 NBA season less than two weeks away, betting odds have begun to settle on who will win the Most Valuable Player Award this year. And, currently, according to Vegas, the top 10 candidates are Giannis Adetokounmpo, Luka Doncic, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Nikola Jokic, and Damian Lillard. However, I think the one player that everyone is overlooking is Celtics forward, Jason Tatum. Entering his fourth year in the league, Tatum took a huge step last year, averaging 23 points per game on 45% shooting from the field, 40% from three, and 81% from the charity stripe, giving himself a 56.7% true shooting percentage. Tatum was also an advanced statistics darling, ranking sixth in the NBA in defensive win shares and 11th in value over replacement player. This jump in production solidified Tatum amongst the league stars as he also earned his first ever all-star selection. Then, in the playoffs, Tatum raised his game even more, averaging 25 points per game and 10 rebounds throughout a 17-game postseason run, fully establishing himself as the top dog on a Celtics team with three all-star caliber players. If he is able to sustain those playoff numbers throughout a full season and the Celtics finish as the one or two seed in the Eastern Conference, which is entirely possible, then it would be extremely difficult for voters to leave Tatum out of the MVP conversation. Plus, if we are being honest, many of the players in the Vegas top 10 probably shouldn't be there. Giannis, who has the best odds, would have to become the first player since Larry Bird to win three straight MVPs. And given the Bucks' lack of playoff success, I highly doubt league voters give him the honor once again. As for the Lakers duo, despite Braun finishing second last year, considering that their off-season was especially short, it is more than likely Braun will go back to having a more chilled-out regular season run. And being James' teammate will always hurt Anthony Davis's chances. Leonard will almost certainly not play enough games to even be considered, and Kevin Durant, while obviously still not out of the conversation, is coming off of an extremely serious injury and an Achilles tear. And unless the Nuggets are historically great, I don't see Jokic's stats being good enough to compete with other candidates. I'm not even sure where James Harden is going to be playing next season, so I can't really evaluate him. That would leave Luka Doncic, Steph Curry, and Damian Lillard as three players that I think have a very good chance at being in the MVP conversation. And obviously Braun will be in there, but I just don't see him having the same regular season intensity that he did last year. Plus, if we're being honest, all three of the players I mentioned as legit MVP contenders could end up not being on great teams. We expect the Mavericks to be good, but it's a crowded Western Conference, and they could easily end up as a fifth or sixth seed. We have no idea what the Warriors will look like. And the Blazers could easily finish in the bottom half of the playoffs. So, basically, the award is wide open this year, and there really isn't any clear favorite. And plus, the Celtics, barring any major injury, should once again be slated to finish as a top three seed in the Eastern Conference. Which, ultimately, seems to matter a lot when it comes to MVP voting. Since 2000, only one MVP winner has come from a team that wasn't a top two seed in their conference. That winner was Russell Westbrook in 2017, who led the sixth-seeded Thunder. So, to summarize, not only does Tatum's current career path schedule him for a year in which he joins the superstar discussion, but the Celtics' current roster and the conference they play in lines them up for a top-three seed, something you can't say for some of the other candidates. Lastly, the NBA also granted the Celtics 14 national TV games, which is tied for the second most in the league. And these games are hugely important for MVP candidates because, whether we like it or not, they tend to carry more weight in the media than an ordinary game. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos.